The seventh topic is another easy topic. Here we have to just find the sums, differences, products, or quotients of functions. That is basically f plus g of x or f minus. This is subtraction or difference. The product is by this dot plus is addition or sums and division or the quotient is f by g. Now the functions f of x is 2x and g of x is minus 4x plus 5. All you need to do is add this up. That's it. Now let's go one by one. The first one, f plus g of all x. All you need to do is add f of x and g of x. That's it. There's nothing much over here. So it'll be 2x times minus 4x. Uh, now remember, use brackets because it's plus and minus. In this case, because it's plus, it doesn't make a difference. But it'll make a lot of difference when you subtract. So f of x is just a single term so i just write it as 2x it's a monomial where this over here is a binomial so we will use the bracket minus 4x plus 5 you can see that's the violet color whereas the green color is over here olive green is 2x now next thing would be just add them up 2x minus 4x is minus 2x then plus 5 all you need to do is th this is it that's the answer nothing else all you need to do is adding them up. Now, subtracting is again simpler. Uh, again, the same way. All you need to do is minus. But just remember, you need to multiply this negative sign inside the brackets. So, it becomes 2x plus 4x minus 5. Because distribute this negative sign. Use the distributive property. And for now, when you add it, it will be 4x plus 2x minus 5. The answer is 6x minus 5. To find the product, all you need to do is, find, you know, multiplying. So, you need to multiply f of x and g of x. How do you do? Distribute your property again. 2x times minus 4x would be negative 8x squared. And 2x times 5 is 10x. That's it. That's the answer. It's very, very basic. Very simple. And 4 divided by g of x. Again, another simple uh, type. Same functions. Now, over here. They don't ask you to do the long division or anything. Just write them as a fraction. 2x is up above numerator, negative 4x plus 5. But here they usually ask you to write the undefined number. So we know no number can be divided by 0 because this is a very complicated part. What do you mean exactly by 0? It's basically nothing. So how many times can you divide any number by nothing? It can be 1, 10, 100 undefined times or infinite times so it will correspond towards infinity but the answer is generally undefined so you can't have denominator as zero if you graph such it will be an asymptote there will be nothing you know we won't get this answer so we just avoid those values how will you how will you find the undefined value of x over here in this case all you need to do is whatever is the denominator just equate it to zero just make it equal to zero so what is going to happen that is take this to the other uh, take 4x to the other side so make it positive so 5 equals 4x and 4, uh, 4 goes to the other side will be 5 by 4 equals to x so basically when x is 5 by 4 here this will be undefined so avoid this term so this should not be equal x should never be equal to 5 by 4 any value other than that is fine this is how we solve this very basic very simple problem now all these problems you need to do it by yourself because they are very straightforward there is nothing over here it's very very simple just add them up x plus 5x is 6x minus and minus will be adding but you need to write the negative sign. Same way over here, you need to subtract. It will be minus 4x and plus 1. You need to multiply these. You can use the FOIL method, you know, binomial multiplication. And lastly, just write them div divided by. Make uh, Find the non-equal to sign in the sense. When does this become undefined? It will be 5x equals 2x should not be equal to it should not be equal to 2 by 5. So that's how you find the undefined. Please try all of these by yourself and then check the answer. It is very simple. Now, we are, I'll just quickly run through this. You can see there is x squared, x and minus uh, a constant term. You can't add them. You should just write those together. See, x squared plus x minus 5. Even subtraction is just these two sign changes. 
that's it multiplication can be done obviously you can multiply any uh, uh, terms doesn't matter the power only adding and subtracting is for like terms whereas multiplication can be done for unlike terms quotient is just by writing the fraction so same way do it by yourself and then later on check the answers so that's it only six questions in this topic please uh, solve them by yourself and then refer to the answers